hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be talking about sleep okay so sleep disorders that you you might have but you're not aware of okay so these are things that happens when you go to bed see you go to bed at night you wake up in the morning but you don't even know what happened within that time okay so you just wake up and you know that you, you are awake sometimes you wake up feeling refreshed sometimes you wake up feeling groggy you wake up feeling tired you wake up feeling like you wake up feeling like as if you do not even sleep at all okay so some of the things that you might have but you don't know that you have just to draw your attention to them not because i want to treat you just to draw your attention to them and encourage you to probably have a sleep study done if you suspect that you might have um, any of these things okay so the first thing i'm going to start with is sleep apnea so there are different types of sleep apnea sleep apnea is basically the obstruction of the airway which um while you're asleep okay so with sleep apnea there are different um the criteria for for um the criteria for scoring sleep apnea is basically you stop breathing for at least 10 seconds during the night um you stop breathing for at least 10 seconds and then you wake up gasping for air or you wake up uh, from an arousal okay so you wake up having an arousal so it's like <sighs> catch your breath and then you go back to sleep basically so that tends to happen like a couple of times during the night where you're not aware of them some of the questions i tend to ask patients is you know like um do you wake up feeling refreshed do you wake up feeling tired do you wake up with dry mouth because with sleep apnea you tend to like um if there is an obstruction of the of the nasal passage you tend to breathe through your mouth so if you wake up with dry mouth there's a chance that you know you might be breathing through your mouth and there's a chance that you might have sleep apnea okay so wake up with dry mouth do you wake up feeling do you wake up in the middle of the night sweating because with sleep apnea is like you stop breathing and then you wake up you know catching your breath like oh yeah you've been working out or something and then you wake up catching your breath um, trying to catch your breath so do you wake up like just in sweat okay do you wake up in sweat another question we ask patients is how many times do you wake up during the night or um, how many times do you go to the washroom sometimes you know just waking up to go to the washroom they can also disrupt the sleep and some people tend to wake up from um, sleep apnea and then since they're awake they go to the washroom okay so those are the things we, we tend to ask patients so you also also want to ask yourself those questions but if you might suspect that you have a sleep you have sleep apnea then you should probably see a doctor so there are different levels to it so you can it can be mild it can be severe okay so the severe one the mild they can usually like give you a mouth a mouth guard or um something that basically holds up your your um breathing airway your airway so allows you to breathe so they can give you that or they can um, suggest CPAP machine the CPAP machine is the one you wear over your face so it's basically continuous pressure um, pos continuous positive airway pressure so it basically allows air to go in and out of your airway you know during the night if you stop breathing it forces the it forces the air and opens up your airway okay um, so that's basically sleep apnea risk factors could be age weight um, gender as well gender and um, men tend to have a higher um, risk of having sleep apnea but then when the woman reaches the men the age of menopause they are also basically at an equal risk as men of having sleep apnea because you have a higher production of testosterone when you when you reach the menopausal age so i think that's why another thing people do not talk about or do not think about when it comes to sleep is the sleep disorders such as narcolepsy and insomnia a lot of people talk about insomnia but a lot of people don't know what it means to have insomnia it's just like oh i can't sleep so insomnia <laughs> okay so insomnia is not just you can't sleep so insomnia sometimes insomnia is basically you know if you are not able to go to bed between 15 to 20 hours hours if you're not able to fall asleep between 15 to 20 minutes of trying to fall asleep and if you keep waking up during the night so it's basically maintaining sleep and initiating sleep so another question we ask patients is oh do you have any problem initiating sleep do you have any problem maintaining sleep like how many times do you wake up during the night and questions like that okay so that's another reason for insomnia if you have sleep apnea you might have insomnia as well because with sleep apnea you keep waking up, waking up during the night and you're not able to stay asleep so your sleep gets keeps getting disrupted and you're not even aware of it okay so with sleep apnea you, you, you might also be um, at risk of having insomnia and you wake up feeling very tired <laughs> you wake up feeling very groggy very tired and very sleepy during the day basically kind of the opposite of insomnia is narcolepsy which is excessive sleepiness okay so you close your eyes and then you fall asleep within seconds <laughs> okay so the, the normal um, sleep onset time that we look at is usually um so for normal it's usually above um you know 10 between 10 to 15 right 10 to 20 minutes you should be able to fall asleep that's the normal sleep on set rate but if you fall asleep in less than five minutes or in less than one minute then you, then you might have sleep apnea and also what they look at is the sleep onset of REM yeah, sleep, on, it was sleep onset REM basically you go into REM sleep within 5 to 10 minutes of falling asleep which is something that happens later on in the evening so with REM sleep it tends to REM sleep is basically the dream state this dream stage where you um, yeah you dream REM sleep rapid eye movement so in that tends to happen after like um, 90 um, minutes of trying to fall asleep. So later in the later in the, in the night, that's when you tend to have like more REM sleep. So with 
people with narcolepsy they tend to have their REM sleep earlier in the night like within the first hour of the night they tend to have their REM sleep and they also tend to wake up even feeling sleepy and they fall asleep during the day while driving while talking to friends just while doing things in general just while having a social life they tend to fall asleep um, easily so that's something you should also you know think about if you feel sleepy all the time and you feel like you want to go to sleep so it's not just about feeling tired so there's the difference between sleepiness and tiredness so it's not just tiredness it is like you feel like you're going to fall asleep and you are going to fall asleep <laughs> okay so that's basically what narcolepsy um that's basically the umbrella for narcolepsy there are also so many underlying conditions with narcolepsy but i'm not going to get into that because that's not why we are here <laughs> another thing you want you might have that you do not know is a REM behavior disorder so REM behavior disorder is basically you screaming um you know acting out your dreams because in REM stage you are meant to be your body is meant to be paralyzed you are not meant to be able to move your body so it is a disorder when while you are dreaming you are able to act out your dream you are walking you know you are walking you are touching things you are hitting your partner like if you have a partner that hits you and slaps your head while you are sleeping like that you should probably look into that because that's not normal okay so people are not meant to just be <laughs> moving around and just slapping you or you know being aggressive while they are sleeping so there are so you know so many types of REM behavior disorders that I don't want to get too deep into but like um, that's because I didn't do a lot of research to be able to like back up what i'm saying like i need to be able to make sure that what i'm saying is accurate with research is <laughs> backed up with research okay so um yeah we run behavior disorder you know you're acting on your dream you're screaming you're you know you're talking you so yeah so you know things like that that's basically what REM behavior disorder is this is quite short and <laughs> simple sometimes they are called parasomnia as well so you know there are different types i do not want to go too deep REM behavior disorder is like a whole page of um, a whole chapter of um of um, discussion another thing i want to talk about is restless leg syndrome or restless legs while you're sleeping okay so your legs are just moving constantly if your partner complains that you are tapping them while you sleep you're like kicking them you're like you can't keep your legs straight and restless leg syndrome is actually like when you're trying to fall asleep actually when you're trying to fall asleep like you you just feel this need to just keep tapping your legs okay you feel like you feel so <laughs> uncomfortable and the only thing that helps you feel better is the fact that you know it's the fact that you keep moving your legs and with that is you know is pain in the legs and stuff like that so questions we ask patients that might have sus that might have um restless leg syndrome is like do you you know why you're sleeping at night or you know, like um why you're trying to fall asleep do you feel like you you have restless leg do you feel the, the need to move your legs a lot those are the questions we, um i ask patients anyways personally that's something i ask the patients just so to know what i'm going to see during the night Another thing that you might have, this is just an additional stuff, this one, probably, you, see, you might actually have this but you don't know, is sleep eating disorder. Sleep eating disorder is basically you, it's basically you sleepwalking but then going to eat while you're sleepwalking, going to eat and then go back to bed and then when you wake up in the morning, you don't even remember you've done that, okay? <laughs> so you, you wake up in the middle of the night, you go to the kitchen, you make food for yourself, you prepare a nice dish, you eat the food and then I wake up in the morning the next day and I'm like, oh, so what happened <laughs> and then you're like nothing i just went to bed and woke up in the morning right so these are the things that you might have that you don't know there are so many more of them but these are just like the five and um, these are just like the five quick ones that like the top ones that you might have but you're not aware of thank you guys so much for watching this video i really appreciate you guys for always coming back to watch my video make sure to subscribe hit the like button if you like the video <laughs> hit the like button make sure to share with your friends as well just share share the video so people can know what sleep disorders they might have but they are not aware of okay share the video and i'll see you in my next one Peace.